Yesterday, a child came out to wonder. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, I'm Megan Victoria. My name is Megan. I'm a pro hair makeup artist, and today we're just doing this really pretty, like natural glam sunny, bronzy, glowy kind of makeup. So the weather is getting lovely, finally. The spring, I swear to God, went on forever, but we're finally in a place where the sun is shining and I just wanted to do something that's really bronzy and glowy, but also just like really pretty and like, you know, just makes you feel a little bit of glam and like a little bit of cuteness. So this is the look we created today. Now I have a super exciting announcement. So this video today is actually sponsored by Moda brushes. I am so excited to be partnering with them for this video. I have been a huge Moda brushes fan for like years and years and years. So this is the perfect uh, partnership. So today I'm going to be featuring the Moda Pro line. So oh my gosh, my hair is getting absolutely everywhere. So this is one of the little guys. It's super like compact and small and comfortable in the hand sleek and minimal in design but super high performance. I absolutely love these brushes, been using them for a really long time. So I'm gonna walk you through this whole makeup look. I'm gonna show you which motor brushes I'm using as we go along and as well, I will have a discount code and link for you guys if you wanna shop any of the brushes I'm using or any other fun ones. As well, you can also check out their accessories because like, hello, does everyone need a rose gold glamour sequin brush storage situation? Yes, they absolutely do. Oh my God, I love this thing so much, it's so exciting. So you can use the code Mega Victoria to save on your purchases, but as well, I will have everything linked below so you have all that information. Now, without further ado, we're going to continue on with our regular scheduled programming, and I'm going to show you this beautiful makeup look. So let us get started. All right, so first thing we're going to get started with is some moisturizer. So I'm going to take my Skin Fix uh, Barrier Serum, and I'm going to apply that to the face. I love when the weather warms up and you can actually get away with the serum instead of like a super heavy moisturizer. It just feels so nice and light. The next we're gonna go in to our flawless filter in the shade three, give ourselves a nice bit of a glow. And then with whatever serum you have left on your fingers, you can just blend this in. I think I'm just gonna double up on the flawless filter because I definitely want a nice glowy, like sun-kissed look. So I'm just going to apply another layer of this and then work that in. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to start with the Makeup Forever Reboot. I'm just going to pump that on the back of my hand. And I'm also going to add one pump of the Lancome Tonte Idole. It just adds a little bit of coverage, but I still want the foundation like glowy and sheer. So it gives us that really like sun-kissed look. Then I'm going to go into my handy dandy little brush holder. It's so freaking cute. Look how rose gold it is. I'm so obsessed. First, going to grab the BMX 180 buffer brush. I'm gonna grab some of that foundation and I'm just gonna use this to really work in the foundation. I'm gonna do kind of a little bit of a mixture between the stippling and then buffing. I'm gonna top up the foundation in just the spots where I need a little bit of coverage. I'm just taking that brush and just really pressing the foundation in just to really ensure a flawless application. Next, I'm going to take the conceal brush. I'm going to dip it into my color corrector and apply that to the under eye area. To make sure I get right underneath the eyes and then I'm gonna get the inner corner and the outer corner. Take my finger to blend that in. And then we're gonna brighten the under eyes with some concealer. So I'm gonna first start with my Makeup Forever concealer. Apply that right to the under eye area. Bring it out into the cheekbone just a little bit. And then a little bit of redness around the nose. Got my smile lines. And then I have these friends down here that are not the most welcome, so we're gonna deal with those. I'm just gonna take my sponge and just blend this all out. For whatever reason, one concealer is never enough for me, so I'm gonna take my Naked Concealer, I'm going to apply that right in that inner corner where I just really wanna brighten the under eyes, and then I like to just give myself a little bit of an eye lift right on the outer corners, and then I'll use this to highlight. So I'll just go down the center of the nose, the tip of the nose, and the cupid's bow. That's pretty much all I like to do. I like to brighten the center of my face and kind of leave this part alone and this part alone, and then we're good. Let me take our sponge and blend this in lightly. I'm 
And what's great is if you apply your concealer in the inner corner and the outer corner, they will just blend together in the middle. So you'll still get the coverage like throughout the whole under eye area, but you're using way less product and you're just moving the product around, which is great. But again, you get that initial product placement where it's definitely more coverage where you first place it and then you blend it out and hold it, you know, articulate the stuff that I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. Right, so now we're nice and light and bright. I want to chisel out those cheekbones just a little bit. No, not too much. I want more of a bronzy kind of look. So I'm just going to place a little bit of my Bare Minerals contour foundation stick everywhere. And then just to keep it nice and soft, I'm actually going to take the same buffer brush we used when we did our foundation. And whatever leftover foundation is just going to really soften that bronziness. So we're just going to get a really nice warmth to the skin without it being like too like chiseled want everything like really like natural and like soft so I'm just kind of pressing and letting kind of the brush just do the work for me that looks beautiful I'm gonna add a little bit more because I just really like it I'm gonna add it a little bit higher just so again I get a little bit more of a bronzier vibe instead of like a contour vibe and then I'm just gonna press that on top that looks so pretty Right, and then to add a little bit more of that bronzy glowy look I've got this beautiful blush from Bare Minerals it's just so like rustic it reminds me of like you know like a really bronzy sunset island vibes which is exactly what we're going for so I'm just going to take a little bit of this I'm going to use that same buffing brush and I'm just going to press that on the cheekbones you're going to just see how bronzy and blushy oh that's so pretty and I'm also going to take it right across the nose just to give that really sun-kissed look. That's so pretty. I'm going to top up the cheekbones a little bit and then really make sure I get it right across the nose because I just think it gives like the most sun-kissed gorgeous look. And then I'll just take it and kind of just finesse it into the forehead, whatever's left over, just so everything looks really like cohesive and it's just like this beautiful sun-kissed color and flesh. Okay, so we've done a lot of like creamy products. Let's get a little bit of powder going on. So I'm just gonna take my sponge, I'm gonna just tap out the under eyes like so. I don't want too much powder because I wanna keep this look really light and fresh. So I'm gonna go into my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. I'm going to take my BMX 255 Accentuate brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that. I love brushes like this that have like really like soft but long pointiness to them because they really just press under eye powder in so nicely. So I'm just gonna set the under eyes like so and then I'll take a little bit of powder and just go around the nose and the chin. We'll set those stupid little guys <laughs> right in the forehead. Just anywhere you need a little bit of powder, this brush is really perfect for that. And just for the side of the face, I'm just going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder in shade 2 with the pointed blush brush. I really like pointed brushes for like getting the cheekbone, so I think this one works actually really well for powder. I'm just going to powder the size of the face and more side of the face, just giving a little bit of coverage. Also, it's got a little bit of like warmth to it, this powder, so it's just going to warm up the complexion just so everything kind of goes together. Okay, we look nice and warm now we definitely need some highlights so I love a good fan brush for a highlight so this is the BMX 150 highlight brush I'm gonna grab the shade champagne pop it's like you know such a foolproof highlighter and we're just gonna hit that on the tops of the cheekbones really get that glow I love a good fan brush for this and then right across the nose and the cupid's bow a fan brush will also just kind of deliver you a really soft application of highlight which is really nice because sometimes you don't want that like beaming from space look you just kind of want this like sun-kissed glow and I think that's what a fan brush does like such a nice job of that you can also just like hit it under the brow bone just to give a little bit of glow there and not that we really need more bronzer but like you guys know I love bronzer so we're gonna go into the Naked Threesome palette from Urban Decay. This palette has become one of my favorites so quickly. I'm gonna grab the BMX 100 powder brush, just a nice fat bronzery powder brush. Dip into there, and then just anywhere we put that Bare Minerals stick, just gonna finish off with a little bit of bronzer. It's just such a good warmth. I'll just take it down the neck and just bring it all around the perimeter of the face. Just a really soft, pretty application. 
And then I think what we're going to do, we're looking very like bronze. I just want like a hit of this pink. I'm going to just take a hit of it and just tap it right on the tops of the cheekbones. Just get a little bit of that like pinky flush. Because, you know, the sun gives you a bronze, but, you know, it also gives you a little bit of a flush. So I'm going to just put that in there like so. Then I'm also just going to pop it right down the nose as well. Okay, we look so sun-kissed. I'm just going to set with a little bit of setting spray. And then as that setting spray dries, I'm just going to take my sponge and just press all of the makeup in just so it blends to be all one seamless, gorgeous layer. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I want to keep it so, so simple. So I wanted to start off with the Bounce and Blur blush again because I just think the color is so beautiful. This is the shade Blurred Buff. I don't even think I said that. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to grab this on my little crease brush. So this is the BMX 430 crease brush. And then I'm going to work this into the crease of my eyes, just like giving that really, again, beautiful, like, russet kind of sunny glow. Using your blush as your eyeshadow is such a quick way to give yourself a really like monochromatic like chic look all while you know keeping it super easy. And I'm just going to take that blush and I'm going to put it all over the lid as well. So the lid, the crease, and then just really blend it and smoke it out. Okay, and then once you have that shade all over the lid, I'm going to go into this Lancome eyeshadow. It's so beautiful. This is the shade Clet. I'm going to take my shade brush, so the BMX 466. I'm going to grab a little bit of this, and this I'm going to more work right in the center of the lid. This is just going to give you that like wet, beautiful, golden, glowy eye. Oh, it's so pretty. Now let's take a little of that eyeshadow and bring it into the inner corner as well, just making sure everything is all glowy and golden. For the lower lash line, I'm actually going to grab that blush again. I'm going to switch over to the line brush of the BMX 498 and just dip into my little blush again. And then I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line as well. Then I'm just going to grab my BMX 420 detail brush and I'm just going to smoke out that line. really kind of want that hazy look so I'm just taking my time to use that brush just to smoke out and blend out the eyes. Alright and to add a little definition, I'm going to take my NARS liner in Mambo. Love this liner and I'm just going to create a little line on the outer corner of the eye. Now I'm just going to take my little line brush again and just use it to help me blend out and kind of finesse my shape. Alright, and the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my NARS Afterglow palette. I'm going to grab this beautiful bronzy shade in the bottom here. I'm going to grab my line brush and I'm going to just press this on top. So this is like, the Mambo's kind of got a purpley, ready undertone to the brown and then this shadow has this like gorgeous metallic and I think together it's like the most stunning combo so I'm just going to kind of precisely place this right on that little line and use it to kind of drag it out just like that and I'm just going to grab my conceal brush and with whatever I've got left over I'm just going to use the back end of that to just clean up the liner just sharpen that little line all right we are back i have no eyelashes so i actually did throw on a lash it's a little bit more than a half lash but i did trim it a fair bit just to give that nice lift to the outer corners i also threw on my brows now i still don't have my eyes my eyebrows back from the fox eyes video so i'm experimenting with brow shapes so i did this like very like kind of pulled out look and i quite enjoy so Alas, let us move on. So for lips, I want to grab my Teddy lip liner, lip pencil, not really either, and we're just going to line our lips. Get that. I've said this before, but this is not like an actual lip liner, so I'm just going to take my line brush and help me blend my liner out. I'm just going to take my finger and just soften all of that and blend it into the center of the lip. Then I'm going to top one of my favorite lipsticks, the Goddess from Buxom. I just love this one. I'm going to use my finger just to blend that in. And just like soften the look of the lip line a little bit. And I'm just going to pop on this Pixie Chloe Morello gloss. And then with that same brush, I'm just going to go right into the Bare Minerals or Urban Decay palette. I'm going to grab that pink 
just gonna hit it right at the top of the cheekbones this is really gonna give that like sun-kissed flush right kind of underneath the eyes and across the nose and to finish it all off a little setting spray the final look I just feel like a rose gold glam goddess as always as per usual I want to thank Moda so much for sponsoring this video this is such a perfect little collaboration and be sure to check the link below and use the discount code Meg Victoria to save on all your purchases like your brushes and also this rose gold cuteness like need I say more but thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.